Hello chess aficionados, uh, this is Glenn Gersi, a teacher by profession and an avid chess player by passion. Uh, gusto ko ipakita yung laro between uh, Magnus Carlsen and Valery Popov. Uh, which itong laban na to nangyari nung Wiki Ansi 2004. Um, which si Carlsen ay nasa edad na 13 or 14. At uh, lumalaro na siya sa mga Class C or Group C Group C tournament ng Wiki Ansi. Okay? So, um, the game started with a Sicilian defense, Sicilian Nidorf in specific E4, C5 Knight F3, D6 D4, C takes D4 Knight takes D4, Knight F6 Knight C3, A6 Bishop G5, E6 F4 Ngayon, instead na Bishop E7 which is the classical system Black plays Queen B6, initiating the poison pawn variation. So after Queen D2, kaya siya tinawag na poison pawn kasi nagpapakain yung white ng pawn dito sa B2 kapalit ng medyo kalamangan sa development or lead in development sa piyasa nyo. Actually, pwede naman i-decline ng white yun eh, no? Eh, may instead of playing uh, Queen D2, pwede siyang mag-play ng Knight B3. Para, kaya lang kasi after knight b3, um, bishop e7, queen e2, h6, bishop h4 is known to be good for black. Kasi after, after, let's say, queen c7, castling b5, medyo pabor sa black yung position na yan. Kasi walang, wala siyang e5. Yung queen ng white wala sa f3, no? Dahil usually kasi sa position na yan, after e5, may atake yung queen sa rook, tsaka sa knight, no? Sa position na to, walang ganong possibility. Kaya, considered na lesser yung effect ng atake ng white. Actually, after takes, takes, uh, or let's say, g5, medyo... Oh, not g5 but uh, takes takes knight d7 takes takes hindi yung masasabing lugi yung black sa sentro kasi yung pawn sa e5 malamang babagsak na yan kasi after rook e1 knight c6 mapupunta sa black yung pawn sa e5 so let's say on oh, sa position na to black and white can also play a3 trap no kasi after queen takes b2 white plays knight a4 kulong yung queen ng black so pwede rin yan no? pan decline sa position ng poison pawn pero kasi after a3 hindi lang papansinin ng black yan we will continue the same manner Bishop e7, a6, queen c7, b5, knight b7, knight c6. Yung move na a3 naging target pa sa b, b5, rook b8, b4 mamaya ng black. So, hindi siya considered best line as well. Magnus Carlsen entered the uh, poison pawn variation and standard, uh, started the standard attack f5. Ano bang purpose ng f5 niya? Okay. Pag play niya ng f5, ang bala kasi ng white yan is buksan yung f-file, no? Itong f-file na to. Para after pawn takes pawn, and then pawn takes pawn, bukas na yung f-file para sa kanya. So, let's say for example, knight c6. Uh, white must insert first the move. Pawn takes e6. Bakit? Kasi kapag bishop takes e6, knight takes e6, pawn takes knight, bishop c4, mababawi niya yung ganambit niyang pawn at the same time, lamang pa siya sa pwesto ng pyesa. So, usually error yon. Black has to play pawn takes pawn. Knight takes c6, pawn takes knight, and then e5. Okay. This is considered one of the strongest line of fight against poison pawn variation kasi nga um, nawawasak ng white yung pawn cover ng king na nasa gitna. So, siguro si Carlsen prepared sa line yan, no? Uh, pero in that game, Popo played knight e5 and the game went to a different channel pero sa, tignan muna natin yung pawn takes pawn 
for sure ang um, continuation niya ng white is bishop takes knight pawn takes bishop knight e4 and then black has three main choices here pwede niyang i-play ang bishop e7 pwede ang queen takes a2 or queen takes pawn pwede rin ang queen a4 okay let's take a look at them one by one no? bishop e7 the most effective is uh, continuation is bishop e2 castling castling and then black must play or castling castling and then black must play and then black must play rook a7 first okay bakit only mali uh, castling rook p3 muna pala queen takes a2 and then castling okay so in this position black white must play black must play rook a7 first bakit kasi kapag nag f5 siya agad may possibility na um itira to ng white no rook b3 check king h8 and then queen h6 almost immediately winning na so let's say for example black plays king h8 queen h6 and then rook a7 bakit rook a7 hindi f5 kasi pag f5 then g5 hindi pwedeng kainin ng black yun kasi queen takes rook mate so rook, rook a7 muna but after rook a7 um, after let's say rook takes f6 uh, rook takes, sorry knight takes f6 almost immediately winning na yung, yung white kasi after queen takes c2 para makover yung a7 square um, white may play bishop d3 anyways so in this position uh, hindi masyadong advisable ang bishop e7 ok so instead of castling instead of castling sabihin natin ang uh, move ng block is h5 which is standard to prevent the bishop h7, h5 check now white will play um, rook p3 now dalawang moves ulit kain sa a2 o queen a4 ok let's discuss muna yung queen takes a2 queen takes a2 channels the game into a very complicated position starting with knight takes f6 bishop, G, bishop takes knight castle king side and then on my right ba let me check out let, let me check again after uh, queen takes a2 Oh yeah, knight takes f6, bishop takes f6 check. Matama. Casting, queen a4. Okay, ba't hindi iniwas? Let's say for example, iniwas. Ayan, iniwas niya. Uh, may possibility kasi na magpile up yung white sa sa diag. I mean, sa position ng black. No? Let's say for example, uh, white plays bishop d queen d3 threaten yung queen g6 no? medyo masakit yun no? uh, hindi naman pwede yung depensa ng pag ganyan kasi may bishop takes pawn pag kinain may queen d3 sabay pwede siyang check dun then kain dun so pwede rin siguro ang move na ito, rook h3, threatening bishop takes pawn, and after h4 bishop d3, threatening bishop g6, no, maraming possible line na gawin, no, pwede rin naman ang queen c3, threatening queen takes pawn so by rook a1 kulong, no so halimbawa, niligtas ng black yung queen niya queen takes e5, medyo masakit-sakit pa rin 
wala siyang masyadong magawa sa position niya so in this position instead of uh, doing that white black may play queen a4 bakit kasi kapag the rook takes f6 queen d4 check 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 medyo end game na no lamang ang black na dalawang pawn although sabi na natin isang pawn kasi makakabawi rin ng isang pawn yung yung white later on by targeting some pawns either on c6 h5 or d4 or even e6 after bishop c4 so sasabi natin uh, advantage ng black dyan so instead of capturing immediately on f6 white has to play rook b4 now, now black has uh, two major two major choices here if he simply retreats with queen a5 lamang dyan ang white rook takes f6 queen d5 um, queen g5 queen c5 check king h1 and after queen takes rook king queen g7 medyo walang alin na yung black kasi hindi naman siya pwede mag rook f8 dahil may check dun uh, medyo walang alin siya dyan so the best play that black can give is takbo but after queen takes rook king d7 or f7 pag hinarangan niya kasi queen takes dito no? queen takes rook pag check naman doon kaharang lang yung bishop so instead of that king d6 but after queen d6 check medyo alanganin na siya kasi after queen d4 queen e7 queen less yung, yung black so so position na to instead of um, queen a5 black out to play bishop g5 ng counter attacking kasi uh, medyo ma-avoid nyo yung lines na nakita natin kanina pero it's still the same uh, white st still I believe is still winning kasi after queen takes g5 queen takes b4 bishop takes uh, pawn and black has to play uh, rook takes bishop kasi pag tumakbo lang siya let's say sa d7 uh, I believe uh, killer na yung position ng white dyan eh. so let's say for example uh, rf7 and then queen e7, queen less siya so in this position rook takes bishop has to be played and after queen g8 Again, yun na naman pwede ito kasi yan, queen less siya ulit. So, he has to play king f7, queen f7 check. Ngayon, hindi rin pwede ito dahil queen less siya ulit sa white. So, black has to play king d8. And after rook d1, black has to give up the queen. Rook takes queen, and then queen takes rook. Well, I believe in this position, lamang na lamang yung white kasi bago pa makapag-push tong pass po na to, uh, marami nang magagawa yung white position dito, no? like to harass the king and then push his own pawn on e7. Uh, I believe sa position na to, medyo malaki yung potential ng white, basta ma-block niya lang yung pass po na to ng queen niya sa green and then push his pawns forward while harassing black king. Actually, hindi naman agad immediately dapat kunin yung pawn, no? Pwede siya, pwede muna siyang mag-king move or uh, maybe king, queen, F, uh, queen f7. So, maraming possibility. But I believe white's on top on this position. Okay, ngayon tingnan naman natin yung queen takes a2. And it, I mean, instead of bishop e7, queen takes a2. Ngayon, it's always obvious na knight takes pawn mali kasi after king f7, dalawa yung nakabitin na piyasa ng white, no? Yung kabayo sa f6, tsaka yung rook sa b1. So, instead of knight takes f6, uh, dapat mag rook d1 muna siya, threatening knight on d8. And after bishop uh, e7, develop lang, threatening bishop h5, um, castling, castling, rook a7, and rook f3 okay sa position na to kailangan ng rook a7 hindi kailangan f5 agad kasi pag nag f5 agad may possibility ang white na mag play na queen h6 and after pawn takes knight 
may rook takes rook bishop and then queen g5 okay importante yung check na to hindi pwedeng rook d8 agad kasi black can play queen b1 check bishop f1 and then queen b6 talo yung white so instead of that white must play queen g5 first and bishop is, uh, g7 is not playable because after that may mate sa h5 ganun din kapag king f7 mate rin sa h5 so after queen g5 forsado ang king h8 queen f6 king e8 saka pala mag rook d1 para may support na yung rook ngayon hindi na pwede to variation na to kasi depensado na yung rook ngayon queen takes okay, after king h1 queen takes f, f8 is coming na so actually black and play queen a3 but after queen a3 let's say g5 queen takes e5 check and i believe um, white can play bishop um, queen g5 and then siguro possible um, russian check dito check Bishop G4. Bishop G4, siguro. Medyo promising ang position ng white. Uh, threatening, threatening. Rook takes C8. 